Yeah, and then we're back to consistency. Once you find something that works, stay steady with that thing and be committed to it and be a part of it and be present in it and be part of that business, right? That 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 place that you are advertising. So talk about that a little bit, consistency and, and presence. Yeah, I mean, if you guys follow Ernie, um, Ernie, Ernie put up a, a really nice billboard. Um, wow. you know, yeah, Ernie put up a real nice billboard. So I like to hear more about that, but I actually love it. Uh, you know, I have a billboard that that's local. Everybody pretty much here knows what I do. Uh, they know, you know, that where I'm at, how to find me, but I still have it up there. I still have the billboard up there because it's just repetitive. It just kind of keep it, stay fresh in people's face. You know, even if you flipped it around a little bit, even if you moved it around and brought it back, um, you know, it, it takes time. A lot of people just give up early, Damien. I mean, they put up that billboard like, oh, I got nothing from it. Well, you don't know what you got from it, right? It hasn't been up long enough. And you just want people to see it time over time over time again. And it kind of gets embedded in, in their head that, hey, that's Ali. Yeah, he works at Chevy. And then that one time a year later, they'll remember, hey, I need a car. Let me go to see Ali. You know, that's, that's the whole idea. So, um, you know, kind of get creative with it. I mean, this is ultimately what's going to drive real business to your place this is what's going to put people in front of you that you created uh we do the same thing with carlos you know with carlos we do we do i have billboards we have you know uh local advertisements that we do with them restaurants and and uh newspapers um uh, again just got to keep it local there, there's there's things in your community centers that uh that that will give you ideas of where to advertise you know, you just got to go there and say, can I get a pamphlet? I showed this before, but can I get a pamphlet like this and say, hey, how do I get in here? And what are the things that are in here, right, that I can go to and advertise? A lot of this stuff is virtual, by the way. A lot of this stuff is, you know, they have like these online courses, classes, uh, D DIY home, home and garden, right? You can go into that Zoom call and you can probably sponsor that Zoom call. Uh, so you got to get creative with some of this digital stuff now going on. Uh, I know I'm a dinosaur, but you know there's there's a lot to be done there, especially for the young people that understand this a little bit more than us. So you got to get creative with your advertising to drive business. And uh, we've been talking about it forever. You, you can't just sit around and wait for people to show up. They, they, they're, they're not. They're going to find Ernie. They're going to find me. They're going to find the people that are advertising um, if you don't actually go out and create your own. Now, there is a disclaimer. There are some dealerships that won't let you do some types of advertising. You have got to get approval from your general manager on what you're doing. Remember, the manufacturer has these high dollar ads that make the customer like the car and the, the sex appeal or the, the pride or the, 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 the significance that car brings to the marketplace. The dealer advertises price and location and all, all that stuff. So you're not advertising those things as a rule. You're mostly letting people know about you. And so you have to make sure that you find the place that you and your general manager, your owner, your dealer can agree on this is what's possible.